Hey there, this is Mo Lenny. Thanks for tuning in to this disc review slash comparison of the Swirly S-Blend Garrett Gerthy Signature Edition Emperor and the iBlend Kona Panis 2020 Signature Edition Emperor. This first flight, for both this is just gonna be pretty much a hyzer. You'll see the Garrett Gerthy Edition pretty much just holds that hyzer, no evidence of any type of flip up. While the Kona Panis Edition, if you watch closely, you'll see there's a, a bit of a flip up, but more noticeably, you'll see that it has much more glide to just hold that flight. So for me at least, it has a bit more distance potential. Next is really an attempt at just kind of a flat type release, and you'll see a slight turn with a dependable fade at the end versus the iBlend Edition, you'll see a more noticeable turn before the fight out at the end. For a sidearm, next comes the sidearm, and you're gonna see me kind of force it over to allow it to hold that Anheuser angle. With the S-Blend, that would hold you on backhand too, or it almost has to be forced over. Well, you'll see with the iBlend here, on a flat release, you're still going to get a pretty significant turn. But as always, going to fight out at the end. Get your Kona Panis Emperor T at infinitediscs.com. Link in description. These shots are going to be force over and hyzer type shots. You'll see at the very end of this flight, the Emperor flexes out. Here's with the eye blend. This one had a little more air under it as a nose up, so you'll see it actually fades a little harder, though I think the S-Blend normally is going to have a harder fade. And one added bonus, just a low skipping hyzer. Pay very close attention though to my very talented and useful disc retrievers. Everybody needs a helpful set of disc retrievers when they're out doing field work. This was Mo Lenny. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have an awesome day.